A hundred sales a day is enough to have about a hundred thousand dollars a month in top line revenue. And I see that as the first checkpoint to having a business that you can sell. The way that you become financially free is to build a profitable business and to invest the profits. And it takes getting to about $100,000 a month in revenue to have the profit that you need to be able to spit off so much that it supports your lifestyle and gives you the excess cash flow for you to be able to invest. If you do that for a couple of years, you're in a position to set yourself up financially for the rest of your life. So the first checkpoint is getting that business to $100,000 a month. So let's just create the plan that gets you there as fast as humanly possible. If I had a magic wand and I could get you to do anything that I told you to do, and you would only do that, here's what I would tell you to do to get to 100K a month. First, put your energy on building an audience. And by audience, I mean one source where you're creating content and one source where you're collecting email addresses. Here's what that looks like inside of my business. I collect email addresses from prospective customers and I give them an ebook that gives them a lot of value, but also recommends some of our products and the products of some of our competitors. My goal is to build up as many active, engaged email subscribers as possible so that I've got a big launch list for every time you release a new product. It only takes four products doing 25 sales a day to be at 100 sales a day. That's about $100,000 a month if you're selling a product for $30. So my goal is to get each one of those products to 25 sales a day as fast as possible. And I do that by having a big email list that I can release each product to. If I've got an email list of 10 to 25,000 people, then it's pretty reasonable to expect that I can come out of the gate at 25 sales a day. So put your attention on building an email list via two sources, content and advertising. The way we do this in our business is we partner with influencers. Sometimes this means giving them money, but often it means giving them shares in the company so that they feel motivated to talk about the business and the brand over and over again. For example, we have one conversation with an influencer who has about 1.2 million followers on Instagram and an email list of about 40,000 people. What we'll do is we'll work with this influencer to get him to post about our free giveaway on our website so that we're taking a portion of that million point two followers and putting them onto our email list. If we combine that with some advertising, then it's reasonable to think that we're gonna have a list of 10 to 25,000 people on a list fairly quickly. Remember, if we have an email list of 10 to 25,000 people and we release products to them, over the course of a year, we're probably gonna get them to 25 sales a day at a $30 price point. That's your 100K a month. So once again, step one is to focus on building the audience. And for us, that means an email list and creating content. But we allow our influencers to be the ones that create the content. We just pay them for it. Once you've launched a product to that email list, then the next part of the process becomes creating very strong review systems if you're taking sales on Amazon or Shopify. That means following up with our customers and seeing who had a good experience. And if somebody says, yeah, I give it five out of five stars, we will manually follow up with them and ask them to leave a review. Only one to 2% of customers end up leaving a review in a lot of cases. But over time, that becomes hundreds, if not thousands of reviews, which is gonna increase our conversion rate on whatever channel that we're promoting on. But here's the important part. Once again, I wish I had a magic wand and could make you do this, because this makes such a difference at the beginning of a business. Screenshot every review and every piece of positive feedback you get about your product and post it to social media. If you're posting the positive feedback that you are getting, it's gonna do two things. One, it's gonna convert people who are thinking about buying your product. And number two, it will encourage other people to leave positive feedback too. What you celebrate gets repeated. So if you need more reviews or you want more positive feedback, celebrate the feedback that you're already getting. These two steps, in most cases, is enough to get four products to 25 sales a day. It really is that simple. So I'll repeat them one more time. 
One, build an email list of people who are likely to buy your product and then advertise it through influencers and ads. Two, celebrate every review and build the systems to get as much of them as possible. Once you have a consistent source of reviews and you have influencers talking about you and an email list, I mean, within three to six months, you could be at 100K a month. But there's one more thing that I would do that is the nail in the coffin to getting to 100K a month as fast as possible. Almost nobody does this, but it's the final nail in the coffin to getting to 100K a month. And it's this, partnerships with other brands. Most entrepreneurs see other brands as competitors, but if you see them as partners, you will slay everybody who is out there trying to compete with you. In every business, you've got a core customer and that core customer is on a journey and they buy multiple things and from multiple brands while they're on that journey. The secret is not trying to sell everything that person wants, but selling a core group of products that that person wants and then creating partnerships with other brands to cross promote each other on the products that you don't sell. For example, if you sell RV products to people who are living a van life or they're renting their RV on Airbnb, you might create a partnership with a canoe or kayak company or the company that sells hammocks. The reason is because that core person buys those two different types of products, but they don't compete with each other directly. You might also create a partnership with a company like RV Share or Outdoorsy, and you might promote how to make more money renting your RV on one of their sites, and they might write about you on their blog. This is all free traffic from people who are perfectly targeted to buy your types of products. And the easiest way to do this is simply to put inserts in one another's packaging. And now all of their buyers are seeing your brand and these two brands collaborate in order to create more value for their customers. This might mean that you appear on each other's podcasts or you write on each other's blogs. But if you've got a list of six to 10 allies in your industry and you all promote each other, man, you will come out ahead of everybody and it's free to do. So those are the three steps. Build an audience that you can launch products to, build review and feedback systems while posting about it publicly on social media, and create brand partnerships with other companies who serve the same target audience as you. If you do those three things, and only those three things, it's pretty likely you're gonna get to 100K a month. Let's talk about the one reason why this might not work. The big mistake that people make is trying to sell products instead of selling to people. And if you don't know who your customer is, then none of the tips that I just shared with you are going to help. If you're only selling spatulas, it's gonna be hard to create some sort of front-end offer that gets people to trust your brand. And it's gonna be hard to connect with influencers and other brands because all you do is sell spatulas. But if you sell to moms and you sell to stay-at-home moms who take pride in what they're serving their children and they pay attention to what their kids eat and the habits that go on in the household, now you're selling to a person and that person probably by spatulas. Focusing on your person allows you to communicate the values and the beliefs of your business. And that is what will allow you to create partnerships with other brands, sponsor influencers, and provide content that will connect with your audience. So if you do these three things and you don't cross 100K a month, it's probably because you're selling a product rather than selling to a person. The beauty of all of these strategies is that you don't need to be an Amazon expert. You don't need to be a Facebook ads expert. You don't even need to have the best product in the marketplace. You just need to think about people and partnerships. And that's what will take you to 100K a month. I hope you enjoyed this video because this is what I help entrepreneurs do. I help them start compelling brands, get to 100 sales a day, which is about 100K a month and then have a meaningful exit that can change their entire financial future. If you want some help, find the free resources around this video to find our best podcasts, our best videos, and a playbook for getting to 100 sales a day. Just click the link around this video if you want all of that for free. I'm Ryan Daniel Moran from capitalism.com. 
If you found value in this video, please hit the subscribe button and I promise to mentor you on your entire journey to 100K a month. It's pretty much the entirety of the content here on this channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.